Hello, my name is Alyssa Neff, and I serve on the Pennsylvania 4-H State Council as the reporter and historian, and I am from Dauphin County. Today, I will be demonstrating various aspects of the Fiber Arts 4-H project. With me today, I have my spinning wheel that I will be using uh, to demonstrate how to spin Angora fiber that was harvested directly from the rabbit and spin it into yarn. Then I will be doing a drop spindle demonstration uh, using this wool roving I have right here. And then I will wrap it up with a weaving demonstration on how to weave a skirt. I got into these projects with great enthusiasm uh, nine years ago. I was always fascinated by spinning and weaving and it really caught my attention and I wanted to learn how to do those arts and through 4-H I was able to learn those skills and be able to turn it into awesome projects that I've created not only for myself but also for others. Through Fiber Arts I've had the opportunity to compete in Fleece to Shaw and in Palooza at the Pennsylvania Farm Show for many years. Those competitions have meant so much to me and have given me an opportunity to share my love for fiber arts. Here with me, I have a drop spindle and I'm gonna be demonstrating how to use it. Already here, I have some yarn already started on this drop spindle. And here on my left, I have some wool roving that we are gonna be turning into yarn. So let's get started. To drop spindle, we're gonna grab some of the roving here, pull a little bit apart. We're gonna pick up our drop spindle, and in order to spin, we are gonna turn this drop spindle clockwise. As you can see here, I am using my hands above to draft the wool to create it easier for the twist to go up through. Since I already have a little bit spun here, we're gonna un twist it from this hook and wind it around this handle here. Then we're gonna put it back on our hook and go some more. Again, we're gonna turn it clockwise. Using our hands to draft. And anytime you need to stop, just put it between your legs and we're going to, again, wind it around the handle. Alright, back at it again. And I already have some more spun, so we're just gonna wind it around. Drop spindling, it is best to use roving, but also you can use raw fiber as well. Using roving just creates an easier product to work with, but still working with raw fiber is perfectly fine. Again, like I said, we are creating yarn by drop spindling. This is just one of the ways you can create yarn. You could also use a spinning wheel as well. Drop spindles, you can also use a dowel rod and an old DVD to create one of your own by attaching a hook at the top. Drop spindles is a great way to get started into fiber arts. For this portion of the video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to harvest and spin fiber from a French Angora rabbit. With me today, I have my French Angora rabbit named Rosie. And here is my spinning wheel that I will be using uh, to demonstrate this. Rosie currently is in molting, which means she is shedding off her top coat and a new coat is coming in. So as you can see, her fiber is easily coming out so that because the new coat wants to come in underneath. So we're just gonna get started here. I have my wheel and I already have some yarn already started. So I'm just gonna take the yarn, put it on these hooks here and I'm gonna grab my hook 
and put it through the wheel. And as you can see here, I already have a little bit of yarn already har uh, fiber already harvested here, so we're just going to get started. When spinning, the wheel is moving clockwise, and my feet are is what making the wheel move. I'm using my hands right here to draft the fiber to make it easier for the twist that is being generated through the wheel to go through my hands. We are creating yarn right now. If I wanted to make it a stronger yarn, I would be plying, which would be taking two strands of yarn and putting it together. We're just gonna harvest some more fiber from Rosie here. Again, this isn't hurting her because she is currently shedding and a new coat wants to come in. I've been doing fiber arts projects for about nine years in 4-H. In fiber arts, I have done spinning, weaving, uh, felting, and uh, made stuff through my spinning and weaving as well. Fiber Arts has been a big project for me in 4-H and it has taught me many life lessons such as hard work, responsibility, especially in caring for these Angora rabbits who um, require much uh, grooming and such to keep up with their coats. Uh, and using their fiber has just really expanded my horizons with Fiber Arts as well. Spinning on a spinning wheel is a little bit different than the drop spindle um, that I demonstrated earlier. Uh, spinning on a wheel um, is just a little bit more involved with working with your, keeping your feet and hands coordinated. Whereas drop spindling is really just worrying about your hands. Drop spindling is great for learning the basics of spinning, um, but then it's also really exciting to move up to the wheel after mastering those basic techniques within the drop spindle. As you can see, Rosie is pretty calm here. Um, this is really great for her because she enjoys getting that haircut so that new coat can come in. And that was just a little bit of spinning for this portion. In this last portion of today's demonstration, I will be showing how to use a loop. This is the 4-H Weaving Project Book, which I have used as a reference throughout my 4-H career, and also have completed each year along with a project. Here are some samples of what we will potentially be weaving today. Here's just a small sample of weaving, and this, as you can see, is a diamond pattern. The fiber that was used in this sample was Angora. I also have an Angora scarf here that was also a hand spun yarn using Angora fiber from my rabbits. And that is actually what we will be weaving today is a scarf. We won't get to finish it, but you will just see a little bit of it. And without further ado, we'll just get to weaving here. Up here are my treadles. Each treadle is connected to a harness, which is within the slew. There are four harnesses, and within the four harnesses, there are Heddles, and in each heddle, strands of yarn have been specifically put through to create a pattern. So, we'll get to it. Here in my hand, I have the shuttle, which has the Angora yarn that we spun from earlier using the spinning wheel. We could have also chosen to use the yarn that we spun on the drop spindle as well. It really depends on the yarn that you would like to use for your project. I've been weaving for about nine years. It has been a definitely a really fun project of mine. And I actually can want to continue working with textiles as I will most likely be majoring in textile science at the University of Nebraska. That's the plan for now. It could always change, but textiles have been a huge part of my 4-H career 
and I look forward to continuing it. Thank you for watching today and I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration.